This is uh, Dennis Seitzma, Homestead, Florida, United States of America. This is the video log for October 17th, Sunday, October 17th, 2021. Uh, this video log is about the uh, repair that I did on my Hydro Boost that I plan to reinstall today on my 1994 Astrovan LTEXT that I've owned since it was new. Uh, while I'm working on the Hydro Boost and replacing the master cylinder, I'm also trying to get the uh, Kelsey Hayes 4WAL ABS system to work. I have a good electric motor in my spare, and the one on the vehicle has a good electric motor, which I could test just by pulling loose this cable and putting 12 volts uh, from the battery to make sure it runs. Uh, Getting the Hydro Boost uh, in and out of the vehicle uh, is expedited by using one of these uh, really nice uh, deep well 15 millimeter sockets. Uh, this uh, called a swivel socket. Some people call it a wobble socket, but the the thing about a swivel socket is it doesn't go full 90 degrees. So when you're working with it, you can position it and it tends to hold the position and you can get it on the bolt and it's really a nice tool I saw a whole set of these online uh, that are really nicely marked uh, with uh, laser etching on it this one's dirty can't see the 15 millimeter on there but anyway that'll make putting the hydro boost back on um, a lot easier and would have made it a lot easier to take it off but to repair it all I had to do was replace this o-ring and this hydro boost unit is a little tricky to get back together there's a pawl on the smaller uh, piston that has to be engaged properly as you reassemble it and at the same time there's a uh, there's a uh, guide here there's a guide in the center of it that you have to guide the pin through and I used a small screwdriver and as far as getting it apart um, having the right socket helps to fit these bolts that are I don't know what kind of I don't know what you call these sockets but I bought these somewhere and I don't remember when or why, but they fit those these uh, bolt heads perfectly, and they're kind of a strange shape. But there's five of them, and it takes quite a bit of torque to uh, get these bolts loose. So you want to use the correct socket to fit the bolt. Uh, or you'll suffer uh, some mishap uh, may even injure yourself and I didn't find them all that hard to get out on some of the videos done by other people they look like they're very hard to get out but <clears throat> once I had the bolts out uh, I didn't have to use any force at all because there's spring tension from the smaller piston uh, in the topper top top area here um, and just the force of the spring caused the thing to separate I was going to tap on it with a plastic hammer or brass hammer but I didn't have to and uh, I was going to use a remanufactured uh, but the one I got wasn't assembled correctly so I returned it back to the store uh, and decided to repair this one myself and uh, the only two gaskets I needed to do the repair was the main uh, o-ring that leaks and <clears throat> make sure you pay attention when you take the o-ring out it's got a lip seal on it and it has to face the correct direction so when you take it out pay attention which way the lip seal faces but it faces that way towards the piston otherwise because if you put it the wrong way it's going to leak so it may not leak initially but it will later but it has a lip seal that should face the piston 
but to val validate that I'm saying this correctly check yours when you take it out which way the lip seal goes and you only need these two and I'll tell you, talk about the kit here in a minute but putting it back together um, takes some patience and some time and uh, so don't do it when you're tired or frustrated because you're going to be frustrated trying to put this thing back together because trying to get the smaller piston um, in in the saddle there's like I said there's a I don't know what you call the thing it's like a foot and it grabs a grabs a piece of metal and uh, when you go to put it together it has to be engaged the pawl has to be engaged uh, the right way in the smaller piston when you reassemble it and at the same time you have to take the uh, center rod here on this side and through, get it through the retainer and on one of the videos I saw a guy try to pull that retainer out but it's the retainer is uh, the guide I should call it a guide because it guides that, that piston rod um, it's designed to stay in there so trying to pry it out is a bad idea you're just going to damage it so um, anyway I rebuilt this one I think I did a good job I'm going to I plan to put it on the van today and it won't be tested today because I still have to do the master cylinder and some work on the ABS so I don't know if I'll have it tested today but if I do it'll be an addendum to this uh, video but let me talk about the kit the kit is sold by Walmart online there's a company called a team that makes it also that sells it online and there's a company called uh, pirate jack dot net pirate jack dot net it's got a great website but I bought my kit uh, from Amazon online from a company called Zulu Foxtrot Lima X-Ray Hotel. I'll say that again. Z F L X H. Zulu Foxtrot Lima X-Ray Hotel. And it has the figure eight gasket and it has the uh, and I call I call this gasket the figure eight gasket and I call this gasket the O-ring and it has two of the two sizes in here. Um, now um, you can get several kits the basic kit is $10.99 from A Team or $19.99 for a comprehensive kit from A Team and uh, you can get a reman, remanufactured unit uh, depending on where you buy it price ranges from what $100 to $180 and uh, but beware do not re surrender any of your cores until you're totally done with this job because if you find any differences and I've seen some videos where they got it all back together and they had the wrong one you're gonna be crying the blues because you don't know which one is the right one because you turned in your core so don't surrender your core until you're absolutely done with this and uh, so I think I've hit all of the talking points or ask a question on the video. I uh, hope you enjoy my video.